Welcome to this installation video for the Peak Chain Link Fencing System. Peak Chain Link Fencing is a durable galvanized steel fencing system that is available exclusively at the Home Depot and is ideal for use around your property. Now let's take a look at the Peak Chain Link Fencing components, including posts, chain link fabric, top rails, post caps, and more. Begin by measuring the area for your fencing project. Then using the Peak Chain Link Fencing Designer, plan out and get a complete priced parts list with all the components you will need for your project. Let's take a look at the tools and safety equipment you will need to successfully install your fence. Now let's get started. Use a string line to lay out the location of your exterior fence to ensure it is aligned. Spray paint the position of all main posts and line posts. Main posts should be used at all corners, ends, and beside gates. Ensure you stay within legally established property lines. Always check before you dig. Using a post hole digger or auger, dig holes for posts. Taper off the sides of post holes to prevent frost heave. Main posts should be approximately 28 inches deep. And line posts should be approximately 26 inches deep. Install main posts into the center of post holes. Just touching the string line and surround the bases of posts with concrete. Install post caps onto main posts. Install line posts after the main post concrete has been set. The finished height of the main posts should be two inches higher than the height of the fencing fabric. The finished height of the line posts should be four inches lower than the main posts. Install line post caps onto line posts. Install rail end assembly at the first post. Feed the top rail through caps and insert the top rail into the rail end assembly at the first main post. Continue to feed additional top rails through line post caps. Cut the final top rail to length with a hacksaw or pipe cutter and attach it to the main post with rail end assembly. If you choose, install the tension band approximately 2 inches from the bottom of the post. The flat section of the tension band should run along the same side of the fence as the fencing fabric. Wrap the bracing wire around the bolt and the tension band and twist the bracing wire on itself to secure. Install tension bands on main posts to accept a tension bar and fencing fabric. Starting at a main post, unroll fencing fabric on the ground towards the next main post. Lean fencing fabric against posts and top rail. Insert a tension bar through one end of the fencing fabric and attach it to the first main post using tension bands. Install a temporary tension bar approximately 3 feet from the final main post using a fence stretcher to stretch the fence towards the final main post and attach the mesh to the final main post with another tension bar and tension bands. Using fence ties, attach fencing fabric to the top rail, the line posts, and the bracing wire. Use the following spacing. Top rail every 24 inches, line posts every 12 inches, and bracing wire every 24 inches. Then install the remaining fence sections in the same way. To install a gate using the gate hardware kit, install a female portion of the gate hinges to the gate frame and latch to the opposite side of the gate frame. Install the male portion of the gate hinges onto the gate post. Secure the finger latch to the opening side of the gate frame, then slide the catch over the main post. In some regions, a pool fence option is available and installs in a similar way. And there you have it. You've successfully installed your new Peak Chain Link Fence. 